Welcome to Sports and Touring and today I'm off to the German versus Jap meet down in Isha. It's going to be their first event of 2020 and they've got a whole new venue. The last event packed out 600 cars in their main car park and the overflow car park. They've had to move to a site now that's got capacity for 3,000 cars. So let's get down there and see what's happening. There are so many cars here, so many, absolutely ridiculous. I'm interested to know what the number's gonna be, but I think they're actually gonna fill the car park. They said they had space for 3,000 cars, and uh, the car parking spaces are filling up quickly, and there's still people arriving, still. People are queuing up everywhere, it's unbelievable. Every car here is pretty special in one way or another. Absolutely awesome cars, really awesome cars on every level. Oh, you've got to love a Supra. And um, well, I guess not a German car, but still special. And it just goes to show that everybody's welcome at German versus Japanese. It doesn't have to be just a German or a Japanese car. I do like this 4C in this particular spec with a black roof and the white finish. It looks really, really gorgeous. I think if I was going to go for one, that would be the one for me. Um, this particular car appeared in a previous video when we did a tunnel run. Oh my god! <laughs> We've just shut down the entire petrol station. This is the biggest wing I've ever seen on a 350. Plenty of air ride cars here and you know what when a car is slammed that much it can make just about any car look good. I do like the Golfs but um, with the air ride obviously that just makes it that extra special. That is tux. Looks really good though, I have to say. It's just a shame that it's just not possible to drive a car sitting that low, but it looks absolutely, mm, it does look good. Normally I wouldn't go for this kind of thing, but I particularly like this one. It's really nice. Whose car is it? Esky Boy 22. Esky Boy 22, nice work, nice work. I don't know what it is about white and black cars, but I really, really like this AMG 45. Really, really nice. Now I do particularly like this R8, it is looking really really nice, I love that colour on it. Yeah, it is absolutely gorgeous. I knew there was something special about this car. This is the Audi R8 Decennium Edition. These are extremely rare. There's only 10 of these in the UK and 222 worldwide. It was created by Audi to celebrate the success of the V10 engine. And this one in particular produces 620 horsepower. It's distinguished by not only the paint color and finish, but also the bronze details on the wheels, engine bay and interior of the car. And what's even more special is that you could be the next owner of this car thanks to a competition that's being run by Omaze. What's great about Omaze competitions isn't just the prizes, it's that your entry fee goes towards helping a number of worthy charities. There's a great profile on this specific car featuring its current owner over on TGE TV's channel with in-depth information about the car and the Omaze competition. So make sure you go and check it out after this video. I'll leave the links in the description. One of the cool 
things about this event is every car is welcome, even though it's German versus Japanese. And right behind us, we've got a McLaren 720S. And another 720, this time in black. Two competition winners are now part next to each other and I just had a chat with the owners. The yellow BMW is running a Liberty Walk kit and the R35 GTR has got a custom made kit on it which is actually coming off after today. It was its last meet, it's having a new one made. This R35 is cranking out 800 horsepower. Um, really, really stunning looking cars. Lots of time, money and effort has gone into these and it was a real pleasure to see them down at the show and congratulations to them both on winning best German and best Japanese car. That's it. I'm done here at the German versus Japanese Owners Club car meet. It's more like a car show than a car meet. I can't believe how many cars are here. It's unbelievable. And it's such a great venue, the Sandown Park race course. So happy to have them host us and have all of these cars here. I just want to say a huge thanks to Sandown Park race course for being so generous to let the German versus Japanese Owners Club have their car meet here. Anyway, that's it. I'm done here. If you enjoy this, Make sure you check out the German versus Japanese Owners Club page on Facebook, which is where all of the events are organized. And give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and leave a comment. What car did you see today that you thought was the best car of the show? Looking forward to seeing you next time on Sports and Touring.